In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft style mug. Okay, I know it's a little bit basic, but it goes through the kind of basic skills that you need to be able to do to do anything if you're going to make a, a sort of 3D object in SolidWorks. Okay, so hopefully we'll end up with something like that. All right, that's the uh, our aim. Okay, so um, fire up SolidWorks. We're going to obviously make just a part and say okay. Uh, once this comes up, I'm going to go to sketch in the corner. All the, the kind of action that always happens up in this top left hand corner. So go sketch and sketch again. And I'm going to draw this from the top plane. So this will be looking down. So just select that corner there and say top plane. I'm going to grab a corner rectangle. Now, just while we're there, um, obviously, if I wanted to do uh, a different style mug, a more kind of curvy one, or do some other shapes, I have got lots of options in there. So I could do polygons. Okay, I can do little um, slots using that. I might use that for the handle. Okay, I can do all sorts of different things. Okay, so just so you know, they're there. There's also a letter one that can be quite useful as well. All right, so just corner one. Uh, always start drawing from that corner dot there. Okay. Now notice, remember, it will say underdefined until it's happy. So let's make it happy. So to be happy, go Smart Dimensions. Click on the top, and I'm going to say 100. Okay, now when I went into this, uh, it's worth just checking. It first thing it asked me was, what unit do I want to? So make sure down here, yours says MMGS. If it doesn't, just select that. Okay, select the other unit. When you do, it will kick you out of the sketch. You'll need to go back in and then just redo your things. Okay, all right. So if, you, if it has gone wrong, just select it again, back into sketch, uh, and then you'll see it will say 100 millimeters. Let's do the other side. And obviously, because it's a regular shape, I only need to do the top and the side. And there we go. Okay, so if you look down here, it's happy. It says fully defined. Now, I want to make it 3D. This is going to be my block to start with. So top left, exit. Select sketch one. That's what I'm talking about here. Go to features. Again, all in this top left corner. Extruded ball space. And I'm going to just move that up to 100. Okay, I'm just scroll that out a little bit so I can see the whole thing and say OK. So there we go, I've made my, my, my block. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to be able to show you how I can cut bits of this out. So I'm going to cut out the inside. So to do that, back to sketch, click on sketch, select the plane. So I've said I want to draw on this surface here and I can just start drawing. So I'm just going to draw um, another corner rectangle. Obviously if I look down here it's now saying underdefined because it's not happy. So I'm just going to put the dimensions on uh, and I'm going to dimension just from the sides. So I'm going to say from that side to that side, and I'm going to say it's five mil. And that one to there will be five mil. Now, just a word of warning, when you are doing this for real, I would recommend use the side of the walls as 1.2 millimeters. OK, that's that's thin enough that it'd be nice and quick for us to print them all. Um, but also it's sort of thick enough that it will be strong enough that you can't really break it without Sort of seriously trying to break it okay so when you do your real ones go for 1.2 mil okay we're going very chunky so five mil all the way around and as you can see fully defined i don't need to say what the lengths are because it can work that out they must be all be 90. now how do i scoop that out okay back to exit sketch and with that highlighted sketch two i go to features and just along the way from here of all sorts of different little odd sort of things do feel free to have a bit of a play with all these things, okay? If you, if you look at something and go, wow, I want to draw something and mirror it, feel free to go onto YouTube, type in SolidWorks, mirror, what does it do, or just Google it, okay? So do, all right, there's all sorts of cool things in here. Have a go, all right? Where are we up to? Ah, yes, so we were doing extruded cuts. So I click on extruded cut, okay? And if I zoom, kind of move around, I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard. No, I'm not. There you go, I'm just going to use the mouse. Okay, and that needs to be down to, what do we say, 95 to keep that kind of same theme going all the way around. Say 95 and OK. All right, and there we go. I've made the initial kind of part of my mug. And now I want to put a handle on there. So again, same kind of idea. I'm going to go to sketch, sketch, click on the surface here. I'm going to draw a shape. Now this time I'm going to use the... Um, straight slot okay so i just draw from sort of what i think is the center down to there down to there 
Does that look straight? That looks straight, I think, to me. Just about there. Okay, and that will give me my handle. Okay. Now, obviously, it's not happy again, so I need to go back to Smart Dimensions. Give it a, a, a length, and I want to say that. I want that to be 50. And I want the distance from this dot here to the corner to be 25. Okay. I need to say how wide it is. There to there. And I'm going to say, 50, uh, let's go 20. Ooh, 20. Okay, and is there anything else? All right, now I'm just having a look here. It's saying underdefined. I think it's because it's probably something to do with this angle here. Because we said how wide it is and how long that is there. Uh, I'm just going to try and mention what happens when I do this. Oh, no, it's happy with that. Remember, if you get that yellow line come up, um, move from there to there. No, if it ever comes up with this bit, just say cancel, because it means you're trying to put too much on there. Okay. Um, oh, I know what I've done. I've not put the, the side to side, so I'm just going from the centre dot to there. Okay, and say 50, so it's bang in the middle. There we go. All right, so that's happy now. So it knows how far that is, how far that bit is, how wide it is, and how far it is across the way. Okay, back to fully defined. That's what we're aiming for. If you can't and you really tried hard and it won't, just won't let you fully define it, don't worry about it. It'll still let you go on. Okay, it's just nice if it does. Okay, so I'm going to exit that sketch and this time I'm going to extrude this out again. So I'm just going to move my thing around a little bit so it's 3D so you can see that when I bring it out. So it's selected sketch 3, features, extrude ball space, and I'm going to bring that to, I think 50 would be nice. Uh, let's try 35 maybe. What does that look like? Yeah, I think that'd be okay. So I say okay. All right. And now what I need to do is I need to sort of put a hole through here so I can put my kind of my, my thumb and my finger through to so it doesn't spill my drink. And again, exactly the same idea. Sketch, sketch, select the surface, draw your shape, make sure it's dimensioned. And if you can, possibly get it to be okay. Uh, that not I know that I know that oh top to bottom uh, eight there we go okay fully defined again so I can now go exit sketch I'm doing my final extruded cut features extruded cut and I'm just going to flip that around just to make sure that it goes through now obviously if it goes all the way through and a bit extra it doesn't matter I can just say okay and there is my Minecraft style mug. All right, so there's that first one. Now, obviously, the big skills we practiced there was using sketches, smart dimension, trying to get things fully defined, um, using the extruded boss base to pull things up or add pieces, and then the extruded cut to remove pieces. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Hopefully they got a nice mug. If you want to just save that, then you've got your first sort of 3D part made.